everybody welcome back to what what watch to wear um, today we're going to do a box opening of another wheel spin now this is a level one happy birthday anniversary wheel spin so from watch gang this is their uh happy birthday wheel spin watch that we're going to be opening and while i'm getting this thing opened up here if you could you know hit that uh subscribe button hit that bell for your notifications and and hit the like button for me. It really helps out the channel a great deal if you would do that. And let's see what we got in this box today now. Hopefully something good. I'm a little excited about it. So I've seen some pretty good things that people were getting from these boxes. So we'll see what we got. Well, I know what that box looks like. That's a Duke Soap. Duke Soap. Duke Soap. Duke Soap. Yeah. I know I get twisted up on that a lot. So. All right, let's get the out of the way. Yeah. Off. Once again, these <clears throat> I think it's I think it's Duke Soap. Once again, these Duke Soap watches they do package them really nice. I mean, I do like the cases and the boxes they come in and everything. They they are pretty 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 nice little setup they do for that. So, we'll get this open as quick as we can. Let's see here. As you can see, the protected in the cardboard, and they wrap it with this wrap here that's really nice. And then you get this nice plastic red case. I mean, it's plastic, but it's still rather nice. It has hinges on it and everything. So, let's take a look here. All right. Here's your, uh, down the bottom here, let's take a look here, warranty card, and uh, instruction, instruction booklet comes in here, so, here's the international warranty card, as you can see on the back there, limited two-year warranty card, Duke Soap instruction manual, so, I've noticed that across the Duke Soap brand that the instruction manuals are pretty much one, one size fits all, so, but anyhow, so moving on, get this box out of the way here. All right, let's see what model number we got here. All right, today we have a Duxoat DX200744. Okay, once again, that's DX200744. All right, we'll get this thing unpackaged and have a look at her. Let's see what we got here. Take this off once again. Once again, remind everybody, make some comments in that comment section below. Let me know what kind of videos you'd like to see, and we'll see what we can do and see if we can appease you. See if we can make all that happen. Turn get this plastic off of this clasp here. There we go. And I don't know if I've mentioned it in any other videos, but all the class that I've seen, except for the leather band, they all have the Duke Soap uh, emblem with the word in there on the uh, on the clasp. So nice. Today I'm wearing the Principio Principio that I got that I really like. That came in the uh, mystery box. That was mystery box four from the Happy Birthday Anniversary celebration. So. I'm really enjoying that watch. I didn't think I'd like that stainless steel mesh, but I'm, it's actually starting to grow on me a little. <laughs> Once I adjusted it and everything, got it all set up, it's it's uh, not turned out too bad for me. Well, let's see here. One of these are, how they have them. Well, that's wrapped up a little different than any of the ones I've seen prior, so. Not really sure how to get that off there, but anyhow, let's take a look. All right, what we've got here is the uh, uh, the Duke Soat, um, con. I, I'm I'm going to mess this up, I think, but it's the Concepio Concilio. I think it's the Concilio <clears throat> by Duke Soap, and that's a. Uh, uh, green fume color. I, I hope I pronounced that right. I don't know if it's French or what it is, but 
Green Fume. It's uh, F U M double E's with the first E having that sideways little mark over it. So, anyhow, it, um, it's got an automatic movement here. Yeah. Self winding Japanese automatic movement with a date display. Uh, let's see. It's a stainless steel case with aluminum insert, unidirectional turning bezel with a marker. Yeah, got that. Uh, see, it's a 40 millimeter diameter case here and it also is a 12 meter millimeters thick which is thinner than the ones they've been sending me before so i'm thinking i'll probably like this uh, 12 millimeter there <clears throat> the lens is a sapphire crystal with anti-reflective coating it's a dark green color dial if you can see that there uh, the band is stainless steel solid bracelet with a solid butterfly buckle with push button release all that there and water resistance at uh i believe it's what 100 meters here let's take a look see if everybody can see automatic 100 meters 330 feet so not too bad so all right let's get a look at some of the loom on here if we could get some uh, light on it for just a second here see if we can take a look at the loom on this one i know the I was really pleased with the uh, Principio I'm wearing's loom. That was that was a really nice loom it had on there. Let's see here. Oh yeah, look at that loom. That loom's really good. So nice, really nice loom. Uh, I can't can't say anything bad about that. I mean that loom's really good. So that was just a couple seconds of light, real quick. Um, the Duke soap emblem is on the uh is on the crown here i don't know if this is a screw down crown i don't think it is but yep yeah. oh yeah screw down crown so got your wind there position one date position two and see so that date moving there in position two and time set position three so in all the way for position zero for those of you that don't know so that one's got a smaller bezel than some of the other ones I've seen. Let's take a look, or a smaller crown, I'm sorry. Let's take a look at this bezel and see if it's stiff like the other ones they've been sending me. Let's see if I can get this plastic off first before we do that. So on the Duke Soap watches I've been receiving, the, the bezel's been really stiff right at first. But once, you, once you've played with it a few times and ran it around a couple times, they seem to loosen up rather, rather well that make them easy to adjust but they're still tight enough to where they're not just going to flop around so there we go give it another little crank here to get that that bezel nice and loosened up this one seems already like it's to the point where i would like it as far as tightness goes now on this one the bezel i did notice it's wrapped in in the silver here i, I don't know if that's stainless or plastic but um I'm going to hope for stainless, but I could be wrong. That could be plastic, um, you know, so I, I don't really know. It doesn't say it's a ceramic insert bezel. When I was looking it up, it, it just said, uh, you know, a, with a uni, aluminum insert, unidirectional tuning bezel. So aluminum insert, definitely not, definitely not ceramic. So it's an aluminum bezel, but I don't know if that's metal or plastic it's wrapped in or if they just polish the aluminum somehow on the edge of there but anyhow it's a nice looking watch i really like the green see how it compares to that blue i don't know you guys like the blue or the green or what i mean i i kind of like the face of the blue but i think i like the color of the green so <laughs> kind of like a, the both thing there i like i think i like the second hand on the blue one a little better too than that red but I don't know. Tell me what you guys think in the comments. But uh, anyhow, yeah, this is a rather decent watch. But I did want to point something out here. Okay. This is watch one that I received for my monthly subscription on the Platinum from Watch Gang. Duke Soap. This is watch two that I received from Watch Gang for a level two wheel spin. Duke Soap. This is watch three that I received from Watch Gang for a level four mystery box. Duke Soap. This is 
watch four that I just received for a level two wheel spin Duke soap. Now I'm not knocking watch gang by any means. So don't take this wrong. I'm not knocking the Duke soap brand. Don't take me wrong. Um, once again, here's that other Duke soap. Don't take me wrong at all. But what I do find to be a little problematic is I, I'm a new customer. I'm not been with watch gang very long. I'm a new customer. And I signed up to Watch Gang because I wanted to get a uh, a collection of watches. But I was kind of hoping for a collection of different brand watches. With that being said, I understand that this is a wheel, <coughs> a wheel spin watch. Uh, or this is my first watch, I'm sorry. This is a wheel spin watch for their happy birthday celebration. It was their fourth year anniversary. And this is a level two watch. But this is also from their birthday celebration, as well as this. This is a level one wheel spin, and this is a mystery box, level four. I'm not disappointed in any of the watches I've received. They all seem rather nice, but I got bombarded with the same brand. And I think, and I've seen some of the other brands that were released. I saw some people getting some out of orders and different things. I don't know if Watch Gang has a computer that tells them, hey, you know, we've sent this guy a couple Duke's Oats or how they're shipping and supplying and all that works. Or if it's just randomized. I don't know. Maybe this is just my luck of the draw. Or is this because I'm a new member? I don't know. But, I mean, I'm not displeased with the brand of watch. The watches sell seem nice to me. I'm not displeased with the service. The, the watches all come quickly to me. And they're all packaged nice and... Not had any disappointments there. But is this randomized or is this, oh, we're just going to send him Duke's Oats because he's new. So I don't know. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below. Um, not disappointed with the watch. I like it. It's a little lighter weight. It's a little thinner. Still has the automatic movement, which I like. It's the Japanese automatic movement. And yeah, I think I'm going to be wearing this watch a little more often than Probably the other ones, to be honest with you. I like the green color. So, anyhow, once again, Watch Gang, you did a really good job. I would just like some insight into what goes on with the Duke Soap watches here. Other than that, you did a great job. Pleased with your service. And uh, I'm going to leave some uh, link in the description to below if anybody's interested in joining Watch Gang. I do not think it's a waste of money. I, I actually, like I said, I'm very fond of their service. So, I'll leave a link to the watch gang in the description below. If you're interested in getting any of these watches, you can get them all from watch gang. Other than that, everybody have a great day. Thanks. Bye.